That has to sound... Welcome everybody back to PracticallyAndroid.com where we go through practical and beneficial ways to use your Android in everyday life. So today we're going to talk about keyboards, something you probably use every single day. Um, and you probably have a different keyboard depending on what manufacturer you have. They always change them up. If you like them, great. If you don't, guess what? It's an Android. You have options. You can change it to whatever you want and I'll show you how to do that today. Um, we're also going to go over how to change between languages in a really easy way as well. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, when you download, uh, basically there's two steps to changing your keyboard. The first is going into the Android market. And I was going, I was searching a little bit before here, so we'll just start from the beginning. So, so anyway, the first step is go into the Android market, search for keyboard, look for one, download it. Easy, easy as, easy as pie, right? So let's do that now. Um, I was searching for a keyboard earlier. Now look at this right here. 800, or excuse me, 8,474 results. Android equals options. So just choose a keyboard, not just for sake of time. Um, now this is the one I use, and we'll get to that in just a second. But this is the one I, I downloaded, okay? Um, and so basically you download it, you, it the phone installs it, then the second step, like I talked about earlier, is you have to activate it or enable it. And the way you do that is you just go to your home screen, tap the menu button, bam. Go to settings, scroll down to language and keyboard, um, and then, now normally this is the only option you're going to see, the Android keyboard that comes with your, with your phone. Because I downloaded a, a keyboard app, it gives me, for each keyboard app you download, you're going to get two options. This TouchPal keyboard and this TouchPal keyboard options. This one basically is just to turn it on or off. So I'm going to turn it on. When I tap it, it gives me a warning that it might steal my information. Google always really screens the, the apps that are put into the market really well, so I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to say, yes, it's okay. I want to use this method. So now it's checked. Okay. Then you can go into the, the keyboard settings, which we won't right now. Um, but I, I recommend you you check it out. So now this part where you turn it on, you only have to do one. So once this is done, you tell on your Android phone that that if you want to change the input option or your keyboard to give you both the Android keyboard or the TouchPal keyboard. Okay. So let's let's show you how that works. I'm going to go into a text message. Type start typing a new text message. Um, and basically, you can just long hold anywhere where you can type right either up here let's come down here long hold and one of the options is input method you tap on that and it shows you which keyboards are available so right now I'm using just the Android keyboard um, and but I'm gonna hit input method and hit touch pal keyboard look at that and this was I, the reason I want to show this one is because it's pretty cool so I'm gonna write the practically Android fans are the best. That's right, guys. You're the best. So that's the way that works. Let's say, um, let's say I don't want to use that keyboard anymore. Input method, Android keyboard. Now this is the one I use um, all the time, and I really like it for a couple reasons. Um, from the bottom of the key of the keyboard here to the top of the letters up here, it's it's really short. Um, there's really not a lot of space. That makes it really nice for trying to reach these top keys with your thumb. Um, so I really like it because of that. The second reason I really like this keyboard is um, the language options. So to reach the language from here, you tap, you long hold the comma, go into settings, um, and then go to Android keyboard settings, scroll down to input languages, and there's nothing, nothing's highlighted, right? So let's say, you know, I typically type in English and Spanish, sometimes in Portuguese. Um, so now let's say I want to type, right? And I'm typing a message to my brother. Um, and I usually type to him or text him in English. Hey dude, remember those 
$5,000 you wanted to give me, blah, blah, blah. Okay? So it's great. It's remember, it's, it does the text prediction in English. Now let's say I try to do that in Spanish. Epa, hermano, te acuerdas? Okay, so as you can tell, it's not typing in Spanish at all. Now, typically, in order to change the language, you typically have to, you know, you go to settings and tell it that you want Spanish, blah, blah, blah. But with this keyboard, you don't have to do any of that. All you do is tap, touch the, the space bar and swipe Spanish. English, Portuguese, English. Okay, so let's say I'm, I'm typing in English. Hey, dude, what's up? Okay, and then I, I want to do in Spanish, swipe. Epa, oops. Epa, mano, como va la cosa? So, bam. It, it knows which language I'm, I'm typing in. It uses a dictionary for that language, and it makes my life a whole lot easier. So that's really, really cool. So that's it. Um, another easy, useful way to use your Android phone in everyday life. So in the comments below, we want to hear a couple of things. Was this useful to you? These screencasts we're doing, we really want to get some feedback from you. Um, if you have been using a keyboard before, a different one than the one that came stock, um, let us know which one it is. If you um, started using a different keyboard because of this, which one did you choose and why? So let us know. Um, also, any feedback is highly appreciated. We really appreciate you guys. Uh, we want to be the best source of, of Android how-tos um, and the internet. So, But we, we'll only get there if if you guys give us your feedback. So staff at practicallyandroid.com. Let us know what you're thinking, any thoughts, what you'd like to hear about, um, and we'll get to it. So for a more practical life, practicallyandroid.com. Take care, y'all.